Now, voters will hit the polls next Tuesday, and while a huge turnout's not expected, there's still plenty of on this off-year ballot that you are probably going to want to weigh in on. In Kent County alone, there's a state Senate special election, city elections, school bonds, and tax proposals, while there's still lingering doubt over election security. Local election officials say the process is always secure going to be um, fair, it's going to be transparent, and it's going to be accurate, and it's going to be secure. Michigan is very unique in that um, we have um, we have a lot of checks and balances in our process um, from before the election uh, through election day all the way after the election in the post-election process. We have a breakdown of what is on your ballot in your town on fox17online.com. In Muskegon, voters will be deciding on their next mayor. Stephen Gawrin currently holds the title, boasts about the growth downtown and affordable housing accomplishments under his leadership. But his challenger is Ken Johnson, and he says it's time for a change. He says the city hasn't always followed its own policies. Ensuring resources and opportunities are shared fairly and equitably. Um, there have been a number of instances in which that hasn't been the case. And so I'd like us to shore up that fund, get it money in there again, and using it for what it's intended to be, to be used for. Gowran says he's ready to watch downtown become more residential. His main focus, making Muskegon a place anyone can live. A lot of that growth I want to see uh, focused on safe, clean, and accessible neighborhoods. You know, the, the, the potential for good housing for everybody, regardless of who they are. Both candidates agree one person can't change all the progress that's been made here. And we, of course, will have full coverage on Election Day, both on air and on our website. You don't want to miss it, fox17online.com.